surprise. I'm, uh, I'm here. You would be bet, bet y'all weren't expecting this here tonight. We are playing some Pokemon Shield. Getting some more work done on the hunt. So I can get started with the game. And I was, you know, I was just feeling like playing tonight. And do a little impromptu stream for y'all. So got to do my notifications and stuff. Live. We'll hop into a calendar. This will be two ninety one. And we get a grumble one too, so first Smeg is first. Hello Smeg. How are you gang? I just kinda decided to Say, hey, why not? I don't got anything else going on. I'm sure some folks will show up. Might go for a little bit, so we'll just kind of play it by ear. See till I, when I get tired of this. Your mouse died? You're playing Fortnite? Like, actually, Snug? You serious? You're serious? Rock a needle. Rock a needle, loo. Link. You, you're serious? Well, uh, you know, I tried playing the new season and I just couldn't, did not have fun with it, could not get into it. Nine, eight, two, three. Okay, I actually did the rest. Oh. He turns more blue, I'm pretty sure. It's gonna be awkward because my screen's up there and you guys are right there, so it's a little different. Link, paste, search. Yeah, <laughs> Maddie's mom bought me V-Bucks. Like, I don't know if I want to, like, get it on my laptop to see if I am any better and have more fun there, but it's, I don't know, I'm sort of, I don't know if I'm over Fortnite or what, but I, it's kind of, just gotta say. Yeah, we'll see how many folks hop in here tonight, and I appreciate you two showing up. You guys are my besties. We can play Fortnite. I don't know if I'm going to put myself through that. No offense to you, but... Uh, we're live. Stickers. Link. Paste. Does Squobit make it easy because they run away from me? So I don't really have to worry about running into other stuff. Story. Close friends. <coughs> They're not close friends, just me. I wonder if anyone else will hop in or do we need to? If nobody else does, I'm totally cool with that because I like it. Oh, I need my counter up. So that's probably 296, 295, 295, 296. We'll just say this is number 296. Blip it up a couple times. It's going to be something that won't. No, it's not. There we go. I mean, yes, we could play Fortnite, but do you really want to play Fortnite with me? <laughs> Don't know if I'd be any good on PC or laptop, whatever. Hoot hoot. Hooters, this one goes out to Lucas Pookas page. I'm still trying to get comfortable, also. This one's a little odd, this setup, because I'm over here. Looking up a bit, and then you guys are down a little bit from my sight. Blip bug. You know, I'm actually going to be happy with any of these encounters on this route. Because I think I could see almost all of them going to endgame with me. 
And if I if I get the choice, my next shiny is gonna be green, so I can name it Green Fortnite. Because I think that'd be funny. Green FN. Green Fortnite. And one away. It's only been five minutes and we've made ten encounters, and that's number three hundred, baby. Ba ba bum bum. But yeah, we're just jumping right into this. I, I want to get this done as soon as possible so we can sort of get through this. I don't know if we'll ever edit it down to like a, a video where it's like, oh, all of the highlights. That'd be a big task for us to do. But yeah, tomorrow, not tomorrow, Sunday, we got a fun video, not quite base normal Skylanders upload. It's going to be something a little special. And that'll be fun. I'm excited for that. And I think I'm going to try and find something else other than Skylanders to play here soon. Just so... That's 302, I think. I don't know. I'm not really good at counting. You guys know that, but so few folks in chat are interested in talking. Tell me how your day was. You were invited to. Hello, Los French Fry. How art thou today? This evening, I suppose. And yeah, before next stream, I need to get that uh, layout stuff figure it out. I don't know how, but I'll figure it out. Hoot hoot. Two five percent counters in a while. You got a battery for your mouse. I guess yeah, no, you don't use a wired mouse. Am I weird for using a wired mouse? Your your tummy hurt? What is your tummy hurt from, gang? Get that get that checked out. Eat some uh Tums. Tums are yummy. Rhymes with yums for a reason. 305. My tummy. My tummy does not hurt. My tummy hurt earlier. Yeah. Mom's mouth sucked anyways. Yeah. I just wired. Yeah. I I don't know. I like wired stuff more. I've just had to use uh wireless earbuds for a while just because my wired are broke or my wired broke you ate too much mulch no mulch <coughs> mulch is here mulch <coughs> mulch <coughs> no mulch is here mulch Trickety. that's our target 25% encounter and the five Pokemon is the second most available, I guess, second most likely to appear. So hopefully we'll scoop him up pretty quick. Now you can play World of Warcraft and Lurk. Did you shower already? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. <laughs> you guys are fucking in sync in there. That's awesome. I love that meme so much. I don't know why it's so funny to me, but it is. I think it's because it's LeBron. Fool! Holy cannoli. We got all the bangers out here. What is up, Fortag? Fortag. Fort Fortnite. Green Fortnite. <laughs> What's up, gang? What's up, squadron? You already showered. Cool. Perfect timing. LeBron James. Le Bon Bon. That's number encounter number twenty for the night. Le Bon Bon. Um, I don't have any basketball memorabilia in here, so I can't can't show you LeBron. Le Bon Bon. Plus, I don't like. What the hell is that? That's a very cool French fry. I like that little character. 
gnawing at my enclosure. Ah, let me out! You are my sunshine. Was not expecting him. He scared me. He a little freak, for real. He just like me, I guess. Lego Fortnite. LeBron Fortnite. Do you know if the LeBron James Fortnite skin has the has the Lego version? That. Uh, that was 313, I believe. Uh, big time. Uh, green Fortnite. Uh, get there. A little wild boy. A little wild man. Those ones are my favorite one. Because there's a little difference in the animation. When you run into one of those, there's no, like, grass effect. It just, bam, right in your face. But, like, when you go through the grass and find a little dude... It's got, the, it's got like the lead up and you see the silhouette. That's another rickadoodle do. I don't know what I'm going to name it if I get a rickadoo. Fort tag. I agree with that one, Fort tag. This is. Uh, yeah. We hype. Now I got my nails like I'm a little. Hungry little dude. Can you pretend you're in a velocity edit? I'm... I'm special. I don't know what that means. I'm not naming it Egg. I don't think that's a very good name for this. Egg might be a better name for something else, but... Not... Rook-a-doodle-doo. rook doo doodle -doo. Yeah, what is a velocity edit? I must be informed. I may be young and spry, but I'm not hip. Other than this and this right here, you probably can't see them, but they're my big mama birth and hips. I am fertile and I am ovulating. <clears throat> Name it Andrew after Andrew Carnegie. Like the oil guy? Or was he steel? Carnegie was steel, yeah. That's kind of tough. That's actually kind of a good name, Maddie. The first time she's ever done it. <laughs> Can I pretend I'm in slow motion? Uh... I kind of I kind of move up here in slow motion some days, so it's not really pretending, I guess. Okay, that's all you get. Uh, slow poke, th slow poke, slow mo thirst trap. Me. That's all you get. Because I don't want to make too much of a fool of myself. Though I am quite good at it. I'm quite a fool. Yes, my liege. I attend to thy needs and fulfill. <laughs> Shit. I mean, if you took if you took the little spike off the top of a choodle, uh, you could probably call it Joodle, like J E W. T L E, because that orange spot on its head looks like a little yamaka. First Jewish Pokemon. Second Jewish Pokemon, depending if you're an anti-Semite or not. Because the fir the first Jewish Pokemon would be Probobass if you're an anti-Semite. But if you're like anyone else, it's it's Joodle with this little yamaka. I don't think you're ready for the top you're making right now. Is it a dreidel, perhaps? Because that's the only top I know. 
That's the only top I get, baby. Blazer Nation. <laughs> Stay blazing. Diversity in Pokemon. Exactly. We gotta represent the Jewish folk somehow. They've worked so very hard for it. Like, yes, I know what you mean. Like a shirt. I thought my dreidel joke was... Thank you very much. So I don't know if my voice is fully back. I don't know if I can do high-pitched stuff yet, so we'll find out if I get excited and start screaming. In case you guys are curious about that. Nope, never mind. I did, didn't want to wait. It's not back. Sorry, guys. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> she gone. Crank that. Crank that. Shoulder bowl. Is it down here? Sure is. It's Dinah Bloopin' Bug. De Bloop Bug. We're probably going to name him Frank Ocean. Why? I don't know. I've never listened to a Frank Ocean song before. The only thing I know about him is his whereabouts on the the map of the world. Dubbies in chat. Dubbies in the shot. They call me Drake. Uh the one we know, the one that I know personally, because I'm fat and Jewish. That's why they call me Drake. Need to max. I probably could be Jewish if I tried. It's a mindset, man. And also a religion. It's not just a mindset. I mean, you can be. I think it's orthodox is when you weren't, aren't, like, ethnically Jewish, but, uh, <laughs> what's so funny? This is the Jew stream. I've met, I've met some Jewish people in my life, but not enough to, like, talk about Jews as much as I do. I've met at least three Jewish people. And I mean, there could be some closeted Jews out there that I don't know about. I think I want to get off this topic and uh, talk about something else. Anyone know? How was your day, Egg? How was your... 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 your uh... How was your day? Really trying to get out of that hole I dug. <laughs> Oof. Just thought of a bad one about Jewish people and tunnels. Uh, it's inappropriate to joke about someone based off their religion like that. Oh, yeah, I did see that the the Zero Egg Spegmobile had a little bit of damage. What happened? When or did you get rear-ended? Reagan, your French fry? What the H? <laughs> what the H? Oh no, I've been talking to Reagan this whole time. No! How did you get rear ended? I had no idea. You got me geeking now. Girl in the chat! Oh no. <laughs> Call me. That's actually an accurate vomit noise to the Dr. Giggle Touch producer tag. Dr. Giggle Touch. <laughs> French fry. There's a. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Or there's enough things that would explode to constitute my bomb as a my house as a weapon. Like if there was a fire in a couple areas of the house, the whole thing would just explode. 
Fun fact. Oh, he, so this is fucking, how do you miss a car in front of you? That's, that's like what I imagine you doing. There's this girl that I keep seeing on Instagram and she's, she does like the, that shit. And it makes me mad every time I see her. Um, what the Sigma? <laughs> Oh god, I'm the least funny person I know. That happened to... That happened The to... Me and my sibling got hit once. We were going over to my mom's for something. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, this guy just, like, hit us. And you can tell it wasn't his first hit, because I think he was missing his entire back windshield. <laughs> but complete, like, he was wearing... Driving an absolute shit box Sort of thing. I could bring... I could bring him in here and so we could tell the story but like that thing where you just hit the back of the car and drove off and we're like someone just hit the fucking car rookity rookity what rookity um what the sigma yeah we're going for rookity for our first member of the team but i would be happy with anyone else in this their route here because we got Litbug, we've got Hoot Hoot, we've got Purloin, we've got Lotad, and we've got Rookie. And I think we've got some pretty good odds to find ourselves a Rookie Doodle Doo. I might name him like Nutsack or something. Maddie, your suggestion is good. Naming it like Andrew after. Andrew Carnegie, but I think Nutsack would be a good name, too. Not to, like, discredit you, but... <laughs> Keep the sack on the team. How do you repair... I've never played LEGO Fortnite. Jit. Don't come asking me. I play Fortnite, Fortnite. Nutsack. Got me sweating. Got me dripping. Got me... What? Okay, that was kind of zesty. Sorry, gang. Nutsag goes hard. Wait, no it don't. <laughs> what if the balls got hard? Lotad. Lotad, if you will. That's how you say it. In his native language. Of Lotad. Lotanese. So, what... I mean, Maddie saw a Michigan license plate earlier. What do you call someone from Michigan? Like, are they a, a Michiganer? What, is, what, is, what do you call that? Michiganite? I decided on Michiganese. Because, I mean, if you, if you never know, you can just call him. Is it Michiganite? That's so lame. But it's kind of tough at the same time. Michiganite? Yeah, I'm a Michiganite. It's Detroit. Go Pistons! Michiganian. the hell do you know? <laughs> Jasmine said it's Michiganite, and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't care. I just thought it was funny that I the first thing that came to mind when I saw that was Michiganese people. It is not Michiganite. Okay. Uh, I guess you are technically born in Michigan, so. What is what does Michiganite mean? <laughs> because you said it very, very, uh, f like, startled, maybe perhaps frightened or perturbed by the meaning of Michiganite. Lived there for three whole years when you were, I don't know, covered in placenta still. It's what you used to evolve Michigan. I use my Michiganite. What would Mega Michigan look like? 
<laughs> if Michigan were a Pokemon, what type would it be? Ice Steel. Because they're cars. Dude! Get in here. Get in here. This is my father. Stream dad. He's naked. He took his beard off. Here. Yeah. Good night, Father. I love you, my dearest, my dearest Pat Patern. Why are your hands gooey? Who are you? Yeah. He's a very crusty man. Good night, Father. I will see you tomorrow. He's not crusty at all. He's a very sweet boy. Yes, for Regan, we are finding a Pokemon that's a different color. We are purposely picking gang off of their off of their race. There's a one in four thousand chance to find one, or approximately one in four thousand chance to find one of a different color. And yes, that's what I'm saying black girls on top um and then probably shiny blip bug is my number two um yeah and we have to do this eight times because the goal is to find a shiny pokemon and only use shiny pokemon for my team and before each gym badge we would have to get a new shiny pokemon so our first one is here at the beginning of the game and we're going to get ourselves, hopefully, a Rookity, which is the little bird guy. He's a 25% chance of spawn. 25% chance of spawning. Uh, and, yeah. About 350, 349, if you want to be more exact. A Michigander? Did you ask your dad? No, your dad's not from Michigan. What the hell? Michigan. Michigander's pretty good. I like that. Michigander. Let me get a Michigander at those tatas. Three hundred fifty encounters. You googled it. Got it. Wait. So so Google. People from Michigan are undecided. Like, yeah, you could call us a Michigander or Michiganian or Michiganian. You know, sometimes we'll even settle for, for Michiganite or Michiganese, man. I really don't care. If you call me a dickhead, be nice about it. But as long as you refer to me by my preferred pronouns of Michigan, you know. Forest, forest, self. Michigan, Michigan, self pronouns. Consider playing Lego Fortnite. I don't think I will. No offense, but if I was going to play with Legos, I could go in my other room. And if I was wanting to play Fortnite, I've got a gun somewhere in this home. He's only kidding. He's only joshing. Here, let me grab my big pickaxe. It's Fortnite day. What I want you to do is tag three pickaxe, big pickaxe dudes. I want you to tag three big pickaxe dudes, and if you don't know three big pickaxe dudes, tag yourself. Here's my pickaxe, custom pickaxe. It's a knife. Um, I actually do kind of want to show this off. I got it from my grandpa, and it's Damascus steel. Look at that. It's so cool. It's got a nice... It's probably not safe to hold a knife like that, but it's got a nice, cool handle with some green and orange colors. Kind of random. I just saw it on my, my dresser. and Eat the knife. All right. It's going back in its little sheet. You know, and I do have some bedazzled golden fingernail clippers also from my dearest grandfather. He's a cool guy. 
I like. I don't get to see him often, but he's he's cool. It's my dad's dad, in case you're curious. We'll put the knife away. Just to make so I don't make you liberal sissies uncomfortable. Why is my grandpa giving me fruity boy things? Oh, oh, ah, shit. I just accidentally clicked off of the counter app. Hopefully it saves at 5, Perfecto. Why is my grandpa giving me fruity boy things? Don't talk about my grandpa like that. <laughs> my grandpa could beat your grandpa in a fight. Maybe, I, I don't know. Both of my grandpas could beat you in a fight, jerk. Just because it has two different colors on it doesn't mean it's fruity. Me head. My grandpa's dead. <laughs> Dude, as soon as as soon as your chat popped up as if your grandpa's dead, I was about to say elbows. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure your grandpa was a lovely man. You did, that was the first time you met my dad's dad. And you have met my mom's dad as well, too. They're both very fun people, but I don't see them or talk to them super often. But rest in peace. Reagan's grandpa and Egg's grandpa. Salute goes out to the troops. Yeah, I was kind of freaking out internally when Maddie was overheating because we were we were out. I was at Boy Scout camp. In case you guys don't know, I'm a Boy Scout. Soon I'm about to be a, a man scout. But um, yeah, she was getting very hot. And I presume, I don't think anyone in my family has disliked Maddie so far, because she doesn't talk. <laughs> Makes my life easier. But then I have to introduce her like, hey, this is Maddie. She, uh... She keeps me around for my uh, personality. What are the odds of that? Two 5% encounters in a row? Let's see the odds of that. 0. 0.5 times. 0. 0.5 is going to be 0. 0.25. 0. 0.25%. Okay, asshole. I keep you around because you're sweet. God. I'm nothing but material items to her. She only talked to me because she thought I was a chick. It's because I have female hormones. I ate some of my sister's one-a-day vitamin gummies when I was little, and I've never been the same since. That's where these calcium cannons came from bring back the pigtails I don't know if I have two hair ties but I'll go get wheels and ask if they can do it I'll be right back we're, we're actually gonna do the classic get an encounter walk away and not see what it is actually no I didn't do that fair I turned around and looked at it so one sec I'm gonna do another encounter and then do that, so. Out go the headphones. There that goes.
someone in stream chat asked. She's gonna kill herself!
don't even know what it looks like right no, now. No, you look so cute. Do you want a mirror? No, it's good. They get to see me first. Um, what the Sigma? I'm back, gang. No. You look so cute. Wheels is just a, a hard working man. They he. Here, here we are. Here they are. Um, what the Sigma? It's a normal low tad. You just kicked yourself in the huts? In the chutzpah? Um, what the Sigma? I like it. Kind of banger. Um, what the Sigma? Thank you. It's a, it's an interesting feeling. Oh my gosh, it's Hayden. I didn't even realize that was you. I wasn't reading. Yeah, uh, Reagan asked me to get pigtails, and I have pigtails. Now, so. Welcome welcome back to the stream, me. How did you kick yourself in the nut? <laughs> and if I was a Pokemon, I'd be uh, um, low punny. Because I'm, I'm thick like that. Flip bug. So how are you, chat? How are you while I was gone? Did anything fun happen? I'm alive, by the way, guys. This is not my clone, Sterling. It's me. I promise. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, who? Pop Smoke. Link Neal reference? Dude, Link Neal is my my favorite person named Link on this planet. Um I love Hello Ripper. How are you? Do you like the pigtails? Do you think they're do you think they're kawaii? You can do a little Do a little uh nah, it's too zesty. You're going to see them and tell you. You're, you're going to see the you're going to see the, the, the good mythical morning. That's awesome. I guess maybe I don't know. Just... It's weird. They feel weird. That's awesome. I'm only sort of super fucking jealous because those guys are the best. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I like how confused Stevie was in that clip. And uh, rest in peace, Pop Smoke was... Rat Sleeper Agent Activation Key. His ass woke the fuck. Hello, gangsters. You know, Sam... River, this is directed at River. Mostly... Sam would have sent me videos of like what you should do with your long hair and I think she'd enjoy I think she'd be proud of what I've done here. What has happened here. And Reagan, I don't think I would be comfortable performing with these for forensics because I already make a fool of myself a bit, but I guess I, I don't make myself enough of a fool to be fucking good apparently. I'm just, we're just bad luck. I don't care if this is a I haven't seen one in the grass here yet. But, yeah, my luck with... I look bonita? Oh my goodness. Broke at me with that quinceanera riz. 
Bro, come here with that abuela, abuela Riz. Second that Bonita. They call me Bonita. GT Bonita. The, that's that's my new that's my new stage name. Um, what a sigma! Rookadoodledoo. That's three seventy three. Yeah, it was three seventy two last time. If I was a gay man that liked Meg with pigtails, I would love you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Muy guapo. <laughs> if I was this very specific thing that liked exactly what you are, I would like you. That's ridiculous that you just said that. Rookadoodledoo. GT Bonita. We should, and it should be like a makeup channel where Wheels puts makeup on me, and uh, I say I do. I'm exactly the same as I am here, but I'm girl boss, noted feminist. Don't know what God was cooking with the whole period thing. You're gonna go play Fortnite. Have fun. Don't win. Win a victory royale for me, gang. Because I know you can do it. I will have fun streaming. I don't know how long we're going to be on tonight, but if it's 2 a.m. and you feel the feel the need, I might still be here. I don't know how long I'm going. Okay, you'll clip it. Fortnite. Fortnite Royale. Tell Sam to come look at my hair. Because I'm too scared to talk to her. Okay, you'll be back potentially. Love you, boo. Give me the best music. Hello, oh, Rookadoo. That's 376. It's not going to rhyme until we get six more encounters. Moi guap. Maddie, how's WoW going? What are you doing? Are you getting your uh, frog? Frog? I don't remember what was that you were doing. I know you told me in the car, but I don't remember what uh, what uh, what the mount is for this month. You know, I'm glad that this game doesn't require a lot of looking at the actual screen because I can I can look up at it. Mouse, sorry, he's a, a pet. Dude, I don't fucking remember you. I don't listen to you. <laughs> That's not true. I do listen. I just forget what you say. It's like the whole thing with thinking you play jungle with surfing, surfing, but I'm stupid and you just play mid lane. Sorry. It's about time because it's counter 379. I'm getting better with the rhyming, the counter rhymes. Hopefully by next stream we'll have that uh, layout stuff figured out so I can just like have my foot on the keyboard and tap every time I encounter so I don't have to have my phone out. Lotad! I think if I got a shiny Lotad I'd name him like uh, Sombrero because that's what I always name him. Lotad's super cute. I'd be... Zest fest much in the chat. No, we have not filled out our housing application. We we are going too soon, Maddie. If you're even talking to me, you could be talking to somebody else in the chat. What the fuck are these? Oh. Dude, I don't even remember what I was going to say, but it's encounter 382. No, I'm going to I think I'm going to do it after with River. I think I'm we're going to do it. I mean, I'll, I'll talk to him this weekend cuz we got to get the app cuz Miss Mrs. Maloney, Miss Maloney sorry, went to UCM, so he said it'd probably be smart to get with her and do it. And d I would love to never mind, not going to say that. That's inappropriate. 
Um, let's add. Really fun. Your mama at home. I don't really have anything fun or new to show you guys. He wants to do it with his boyfriend. Yeah, we kind of are going to be boyfriend and boyfriend in our little room. Platonic boyfriends. Duh. You freakazoid. I would never date a man. Um, Fostein Sigma. I actually do have something kind of neat to show you guys. I got this one from my sibling, Wheels. You saw them for a set. But it's a cool Skylanders book, and it's got a bunch of stuff in it. And I'll, I'll read you an excerpt. It, it talks about all the characters up to Track Team. And... Yeah, I mean... It's got some good, good little info in there. It's actually pretty neat to some of the Skylanders. Like, give me a Skylander, one of you guys, because I know I know I know one of you's got to know a Skylander in the chat. I know Maddie does, at least. Don't just say Spyro. That's lazy. Did they get rights to Spyro for the book? Yes. It's, it's a silly question, because his face isn't the cover. Roller Brawl. Okay, yeah. You know, I kind of expected that from you. He's back. She's back here. Let's let's learn a little bit about Miss Roller Brawl from Swap Force. Okay, the pages are kind of stiff back here in the back, so... Let's see. Here she is under... Can you got the mouse? Awesome. Chop chop. Ghost roaster. She's gotta be like right here. There she is. Mouse. Tame, baby. Okay, are you ready for your roller brawl lore egg? Because I'm ready to give it to you. As a top jammer in the Undead Roller Derby League, Vampire Roller Bro picked up an unwanted admirer, Chaos. He declared his undying love and her overprotective elder brothers declared they would flatten him. That's probably why he had them taken prison by Jero. Taken prisoner by Jero. Her personality is Roller Bro never gives up. Realizing she was no match for the Jarrell on her own, she joined the Skylanders to f to fight lovesick chaos. It's, it sounds like Wattpad. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's awful. Because you're kind of right. But she is most likely to keep searching for her lost brothers, wherever they are. And she is least likely to date chaos. Can you imagine that? Gross. I'm fucking putting the book away. <laughs> First thing you goddamn said is this sounds like Wattpad, and you've made me hate my my special interest. <laughs> when we go in special interest for special interest, and I pull out Wattpad, you freak. <laughs> God. Rickadoodle. I guess I guess the the Rookadoodle do its encounter blank blank two would only work if we get a Rookity on an encounter that ends for two. Just realized that. Which guys, you're gonna love this. This was not encounter ninety two, but this is actually uh, somewhere around our one hundredth counter for the night. We are at 390 now. We are at, I don't know, like... 
less than eighth odds, one eighth odds, which really doesn't matter. Like you, you don't encounter four thousand Pokemon and then guaranteed to get it on that four thousand nine hundred, the four thousand and ninety sixth Pokemon. What's your opinion on gay rights? I'm recording this and sending this to your college. I think gay people are cool. <laughs> I was gonna say some terrible shit right after that. Oh my god. I have no self-preservation skills. I was gonna be like, but they don't need to shove their damn propaganda down my throat. Those words I can't say on YouTube. Someone needs to put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma. Someone needs to put you in a mental hospital. Someone needs to kill your stupid ass, Grandma. 392. That's a low tab for you. Blazer Nation. These headphones have been getting, or these earbuds, sorry. Got to get the correct, the correct term. They don't, they don't like it when you call them headphones. Um, they whisper in here, low battery for you. <laughs> because they're plotting to drill into my ear holes and kill it. Here in my head. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, I do not like wireless earbuds a whole lot. They're just. I'm making do right now. Rub. We're gonna do a yamper on accident. It's normal. It actually isn't low battery. I charged them after stream on Wednesday. Speaking of stream on Wednesday, usually we stream at 5.30 every Wednesday if I'm feeling up to it. And for the next foreseeable future, we're going to be doing this. And of course, we're going to have some breaks in there. I can't play this every week for you guys. Then I'd get tired of it. That's how what happened with Minecraft. I would play it and only it uh, for a couple weeks and Minecraft right now. Okay. Shiny we're gonna do. Oh my god! It's sorry, I didn't mean to freak you guys out. Um Fustine Sigma. I wonder who else we're gonna see here tonight. Cause we saw one of the three members of Fort Tag Productions. Fort Tag Productions. I don't know how interesting me playing Stardew Valley would be. I wonder, and I also wonder, um, which member of Fort Tag it was, because it could have been Mr. Kyan, Mr. Mr. Austin, or Mr. Miles, because those are all people I know who are involved in Fort Tag productions. Official Fort Tag productions. And then that was encounter number 400. You know, the cozy girls would flock to you. Cozy girls already flopped into bed. I can't believe I just called you babe. I make myself sick sometimes. 401. That's a rook a doodle doo. Who said that Indians do not have sig sigma skibbity riz? Well, I'll show you. Hey, girl. I've got to get those fun, that fun number. I usually edge to Kaisanat and Aiden Ross, but your level 10 Giat was new. He starts singing. Ring a ring, ring a ring, ring a ring. This is still a ring a ring a ring a ring a ring a ring a ring. This actually feels more, more racist. <laughs> My bad, Rick. Sorry. Did you play? Um, you do whatever you want to do, girl. Nina said hi to me, Rig, and it was, it was, it was cool. Nina, hello, Nina, El Nino. Nina never talks to me. I wonder why. Comfy switch. I kind of agree. I would, I don't, I mean, I think the Steam Deck feels fine. I just think the stick's in a weird place. 
I know you love Nina. I know you two are besties. But yeah, I don't have her in any classes, so I don't talk to her really. And I'm kind of a hermit. Because she thinks you hate Mexicans? There's no fucking way. Because if, if that's actually her reason, that's hilarious, because I do not think I exude Mexican hating. Um, <clears throat> energy. Because if... Yeah, I, I figured, but if it wasn't, she's got a pretty goddamn good radar. Let's check. Yeah, like this, they feel like they're too far inward for me. Like I got, I got long thumbs. Trust me. Ask your mama. Um, but like it's, I don't know. It's awkward. <laughs> Dude, don't tell my college anything. You don't even know where I'm going to college. Maddie, don't wrap me out this time. Tell your tell my college whatever they want. How you know that? How you know that, bro? Who told you that? Who told you that? It's okay. They'll find everything about me and realize. Ah, I don't know if this is that gross. Okay, but they know you're a white girl, and you know, they know you doing West Side does not have any connotation to it. You just think it's funny as a little white girl. Sorry, white woman, you're 18 now. Can't believe I can't believe I married to a pedophile. Four and nine with a normal look a doodle do. You were peer pressured. Women. There's a reason woman rhymes with. What the hell does woman rhyme with? What the hell does that mean, Reagan? <laughs> Reagan got peer pressure into. Smoking hookah on a Saturday evening. Fun fact. I was there. <laughs> I was the hookah pipe. Woman. Woman. <laughs> Woman. Woman. Ho Chi Minh. That rhymes with woman. Kinda. It's a close rhyme. Ho Chi Minh. Women. Woman. 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 You guys can't make me do shit. Put your hand up, Maddie. Or we're gonna or we're gonna lynch you. And you're like, okay, fine. Yeah, Reagan, how did you know I was going to UCM? How did you know that? How did you know that? Or was that just a very good guess? Or did you know? Someone else was going, and they told you, "Who? Who are your connections?" Was I really? I guess I was. Yeah, because River was in here, and we were talking about. Room stuff, yeah. Damn. I got some straight buddies going there. My sister went there and she's straight as an arrow. Maddie, you never type in caps. That's concerning. Must have been a zinger. Bazinga. Uh, 
I know you, you two are very smart, smart gals, smart girls. I'm just going there because I don't know, I don't know what else I'm going to do. My sister went there, so I'm going to go. Um, chemistry is what I'm majoring. How's that as a little impression of your little emoji, your emoticon? My grandma also went to UCM, but apparently I wasn't eligible for the alumni scholarship because of either my GPA or my location. You're not going to college, are you, Egg? You cut it on a Coke can? You didn't even tell me that. I just thought you was fighting people. You had like an underground fighting room at the, the community college. Stelm. You get farther and farther away from my actual name every time you say it. Like, that sounds like a, a city in Poland. Stelm? Stelm, Poland? Yeah, I'm from Stelm. Okay, that's tacky, Maddie. Stang. That's a kind of fucking gun, dude. Not actually, that's a Sten gun. What the signal? It's 422, by the way. We're making good progress here tonight. I want a book of eggs nicknames for me. That'd be uh, at least a page book. We'll make one. A compilation. Smelling is a good one, I guess. Kind of have to agree there. Maddie calls me a bitch. Maddie calls me new names. That's where they came from. I'm actually going to heal up. Um, do real quick. I like calling Stellan slurs. <laughs> hey man, what'd they call you in high school? They called me uh, new names. <clears throat> what the Sigma? Yeah, I don't blame him for calling me mean names. I kind of had it coming. stretch my leg out. I thought about taking my socks off, but knowing me, I'd accidentally swing my feet up in front of the camera, and you guys would get to see my bare feet, and I don't really want that to happen. So, I did that for my own safety and yours. You don't want to see the toots. Copernicus once said, um... All people got something freaky. Sometimes it's feet. Pernicus said that. Get that shit on like a t-shirt or something. I might cry too. 
Actually, no, I wouldn't. I think I think feet are funny sometimes. Not like a. I mean, I think it's like haha foot. For for culinary class, we have to take pictures of all the food we make and put it on like a slideshow presentation. So for one of our last ones, we had like a top down angle of the pan, and then the bottom Hayden was like doing something zesty with his feet, and I just had my like socks off. <laughs> And, I th and we thought it was funny, so. One of them's a bag of garlic bread, and our f like we're holding it up. Like, he's got this big stupid head in the background. We're funny guys in that class. It's the only reason I go to school those days. Because the rest of my classes are, are, are physics, bio, and government, which are the worst. Speaking of physics, Reagan, how did you think you did on the physics test the other day? Um, geez, what did I get on the multiple choice? Let's look it up right now. Skyward. <laughs> I don't care. You guys can't see it anyway, so. You guys can't see it, I don't believe. So let's check. No, you can't. Just, just making sure. Y'all don't see, need to see my B's and C's. What the sigma? Okay, it doesn't want to load. Must be down or something right now. Yeah, I, got, I know I got a 19 out of 30 on the written, and I'm going to redo it next class. And I should do pretty good. And then I think I got like a 70-something on the, on the multiple choice. I'm, I'm never good at those multiple choice ones. I'm usually better at the math, unless we're talking about last chapter, which I fucked over myself. I fucked myself over on both of them, because fuck that shit. No, it just had it at the top of my paper when I looked at him this morning. Because he, he gave him back to us to look over and sort of figure out how to do the problems. So we can apply our new knowledge to the later test. Hey. Skibbity boop pop. Skibbity. Skibbity. But no, he didn't put those in the grade book. Meow. Meow. It vibrates. I put that on my hoo-ha sometimes. They call him pussy cat for a reason. I don't want to hurt myself sometimes. Okay, he's going off my head. We're gonna scooch closer to the to the screen so you can see my my, my very chiseled jawline, detailed face, and my stunning beauty. Or, as, you know, most reasonable folks would say, my boy. Or something along the lines of that. I never admit it. I never, never said. I have a physique of a god. Unless your god is a heavy alcoholic. Maybe I have the body of a god. But... <sighs> they don't know my true beauty. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I do either. Um, haven't found it yet. I guess I'm not looking super hard.
<sighs> it's just ripped ass, in case y'all were curious. Gotta keep you in a loop on that. I mean, like, you know, if you hear it and you don't say something about it, it's awkward because it's like <laughs> you're just trying to ignore it like it didn't happen. But if, like, they don't hear it and you just say, yeah, I farted, it's a little less awkward, I think, because it's like, oh. That's just my logic to it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. My instinct was to say TED Cock. Sorry, that's appropriate. Yeah. Uh, what the s s s s sigma? Thanks for the colon update. Cock! My cockabang! <laughs> My cuckabee posting. Let's go. Big cuckabee right here. Big hucker. Dude, I cannot believe that motherfucker's name is Mike Huckabee. It's like Mike Oxlong. Like, are you serious? That's not a real name. That is a that is a joke that kids play on each other. Uh, is there a Mike? Mike Huckabee? Mike Huckabee? Like, what the fuck? What the sick? We're at 442 encounters, one-tenth odds, about. I'm just realizing that my math was totally off earlier. Because I said like one-eighth odds when I was at like 300-something. I totally did the math wrong. Might have been like one-sixteenth odds or something. I don't know. I'm not very smart. I don't even know how I made a mental math mistake. I don't really. I'm glad it clicked now. I don't sound like an absolute fool. But, well, didn't even double it. Rook a doodle doo. It's 445 for you. Razor Nation. We got two likes on the stream. Thank you guys. I appreciate it when you drop those likes. It makes me feel something. Speaking of feeling something, go check out yesterday's video. It was another part of the road to 100% for Skylander Spire's adventure. We're going to finish that game in the next month or so. And then we'll move on to Skylander's Giants, which will be a lot of fun. Hoot hoot. Three likes to the stream. Oh, I'm blushing. You guys are too sweet. Perline. Almost didn't encounter it. Wait a minute. And uh, Sunday's upload should be fun if you guys want to check that out too. It's going to be a collection video with my Skylanders. If, if you, I mean, also, if you're not into Skylanders, keep watching on the channel. I'm going to do something else soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna think of something and I'm gonna put it together and do it so I'm not just doing Skylanders content. I'm a variety gamer. I'm not just a toddler. Don't be afraid, folks. I knew that was gonna happen. Choodle. Joodle, if you will. Ethnically inclusive. Little Jew turtle. If you turn him upside down, he's a dreidel too, so he's like double Jew. Hey, there it is. Rook a doodle doo. That was encounter 452. 
There we go. I got to use my little rhyme. Awesome. I love rhyme. Rhymes. So silly. Oh, um, Reagan, I have been listening to this. I've listened to this music a lot. I haven't done this bit yet, this stream, but I have I have heard that music a lot. So, yeah. I'll remember it. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that music. It'll be one that sticks in my head forever. You know, and I think that's a good thing because you can look back fondly like, Oh, yeah, I remember the music in that game, but yeah, that's not even my most my most played game on the Switch. It's Fortnite. Embarrassingly enough, my most played game is Fortnite, but it's definitely falling off. I think I think at one point it won't be my most played game. I'll find something else that I'll play forever, but I don't, this, it could be worse music that I'm listening to. This one doesn't really bother me. Because I, because th I think it changes often enough to where, you know, it's sort of, I don't know. Now you're going to make me start thinking about it, and then I'm going to start fucking hate, dude. <laughs> also, congrats on making it qualifying for state, Reagan. I never said it to you. I mean, I might have messaged you on Instagram or something, but yes, girl, it's because we weren't there. We aren't, we, we're bad luck. We're bad luck charm. Because me and Jackson managed to fuck up. I don't even blame it on Jackson. I blame it on me. I feel like I'm just bad luck. God damn. Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of, I really like this game, obviously. So I've got a lot of time. And I'm not even, like, disappointed with myself for having so many hours on a video game. I mean, sure, I could have been spending that 600 hours doing, I don't know, something. Getting hoes. But, you know. Of course. I'm proud. It's awesome when we get folks going to state for forensics. Knowing that it should have been me, if it's Ross and Fisher, if they go, it should have been me. But, I don't know, I digress. Born hater. That's me. Yeah. I mean, I get it, I've been that way before. But, um, I don't give him the pass because Ross a bitch. Like, you could have been more like Jesse. Or any other Ross. Or not Ross. Murphy Child. You really could but you, you, But you aren't. <laughs> Straight up facts. On jaw. And Fisher's all right. Fisher's kind of growing on me. I think he's he's a cool guy. I think it's just because I've let myself talk to him, sort of thing. And he's not terrible. Sometimes he's a little odd, but I think I think all of us have that quirk. Maybe. I guess I can't say a lot about not being funny. Because, you know, I definitely have my moments. And then I have my times where I'm not the, you know, most, not the funniest guy. And it's just like that. So... And I think with forensics, at least with improvise improv stuff, it's hard to do it. The funny, it's hard to do the funny. 
Because that's such a subjective thing, comedy is. Like, one judge might hate what you do, but another might love what you do. And, you know, it's kind of difficult to find that, because you can't just go in there, read the judge perfectly, and change your change what you have on the fly. But, like, me and Jackson will do some serious stuff sometimes, and it's so easy to convey that emotion. But, you know, sometimes, like, when we're doing the funny stuff, it's like, we can't go too far with this. Because usually our, our comedy can go a little far. Not just being like, oh, I'm so edgy. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying, we can say, I can say some shitty things when I think it's funny. Right? But, you know, I mean, everybody. But I'm just talking. You know. Exactly. I think I think we do the same thing, but we make j gay jokes, <laughs> and they could probably just guess we're gay. We could make racist jokes because she's black. That's awesome. See, I mean, that's it's it's pushing the border, or pu pushing the border, pushing the pushing the boundaries, and I think that's what comedy is. I mean, you gotta you can't just do like shock humor you can't just do gross out like terrible things but it's like see since we're being bold it's funny i mean you can't do that but you know you can can kind of can kind of push and see what you can see what you can do and that's the fun part about it what matters is not that we we get medals and we go to state eventually i hope it's going to happen but i think what matters is that we have fun while we're performing. <laughs> That's awful. Me and Jackson did one that we implied that he was a slave owner because our our uh, our location was a southern plantation. Like, first of all, what were they cooking with that one? How couldn't that be racist? But he's like, yeah, he's trying to steal my workers. Yeah, I'm not worried. We've, we've got some time, and we're going to start a duet that we need to do, because Jackson needs to do a duet. Do a duet. And, you know, I don't I don't like the duets as much, because it's, it's different. But don't worry, it's gay. We're in a gay bar. It's fun. I'm excited for it. Yeah, Southern Plantation was an, was an odd prompt. We've gotten some weird ones, and that's that's kind of what it is. Because <laughs> when we pull, like the chick who was doing the draws, didn't really like me and Jackson. I don't think they're just. I think we put off an energy that's. I think I put off an energy that just makes women uncomfortable. Whoops, sorry, I don't mean to. But it's you know, I pulled it out and I just started fucking laughing and I put it on the table and I'm like Jackson. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's something you can do so much with, but like, <coughs> do you really want to do a lot with that one? Because you can, you know, you might push it too far. Though. You say the book, fucking To Kill a Mockingbird was racist one time and the woke ginger man gets mad at you. That just happened. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm glad I, I got into it. Because I sort of initially got into it because Maddie was doing it. So I'm like, oh, I'll do this. Fine, whatever, and it'll be fun. And then, and then you know, Maddie dropped out. Whatever. I'm not going to get straight for that. It's probably a better decision. 475, by the way. 475. There we go. 475. But, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to be on my own. There's just no point in dropping it. And, you know, I did the class last year, and it was fun, because I needed the credit for it anyways. And then I almost did the class this year, but I dropped out because it was all freshmen, and they were weird. So I'm just like, I'll cut my losses and just do, like, the club thing. And be whenever, like, be there whenever Jackson needs me, pretty much. Starting off with Jackson was kind of rough, because, like, neither of us had ever done stuff like that before, and we were kind of like... 
we were kind of awkward about it. You know, because it's like, we don't, neither of us really wanted to, we didn't know what we wanted to do. And I mean, I guess it took us a while, but we got into it. Kind of shoot to black cotton. That's that's awful, Reagan. That's terrible. But it's, I mean, it's funny in a bad way. Like, oh, that's funny because they're brave enough to say it. Would I say it? No, probably not. Right? That's what they're thinking. But. And you know, you're not expecting something like that to come out of a, a, a white woman. It depends where you are. Oh my god, that's... Wow. God. I mean, if you can do it and fulfill everything, they can't be mad. Like, they're good actors. They're doing everything well, but what they're doing is bad. But they're good at it, right? It's like an actor, like a white actor being a slave owner in a movie. You should say the N word. <laughs> no, that's how we get fucking kicked out of the room. It's like, Jackson! <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> These are just. Beep, beep! Like, Whoa, dude. It's not the 18th century. You can't say that anymore. I can say whatever I damn well please. You dumb ni Like. <laughs> Whoa! Inappropriate. Almost at 415 counters. Only been doing this for an hour and a half. But it doesn't feel like it's been an hour and a half, because I've been sitting here talking with you guys. That's, that's why I like playing games with this, because I'm not dialed into the game. And I'm okay with that, because, you know, I've played this game before. I've played a lot of this game before, right? But... No, it's it's a fun experience to stream even if you know i'll never make it big i say this a lot i'll never make it big but that's not what i'm doing this for i'm doing this for fun i'm doing this to connect with my friends when is this special pokemon gonna show up whenever the hell it wants to we could be here for the next fucking 10 years and it could never show up or it can show up in this next encounter encounter 481 but it is, it is statistically improbable for it to never show up. But, you know, I mean, it didn't show up that one. I'm sorry. Put too much faith in myself. In my luck. But it's 1 in 4,096 chance at base, which we have the base odds. And, yeah, I mean, it's a waiting game. And it's it's tedious to some. Some people don't like shiny hunting. Uh, rook -a doodle doo that's 482. I feel like a fucking uh, uh, fast food worker who has to say certain like lines like, would you like to try our chicken tendy combo? cock doo doo How about you try our chicken tendy combo? Don't do that again. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, sir. Yes, massa. I will not do that again. My bad, sir. Did not mean to offend. Cockadoodle do. Cockadoodle. Hang on, so. Maddie, if you're still in here. For as big of a dinner as I ate, I'm getting kind of hungry again. I don't know why. I don't know what I did to make God mad at me to, like, bitch, you're gonna get fat. And I'm like, Whoa. no. I want to make that belt last for longer, man. I'm running out of notches. Got one left. Wait, you were just thinking that I'm fat? What the hell? Or you were just thinking that you're hungry? We stay hungry. We devour. It's like The Rock. Do you remember The Rock made a rap song? <laughs> Crazy times. It's about drive, it's about power. 
That's your own version. Yeah. I figured the only person brave enough to call me fat is me. And you know, I want to change it, but you know, I'm, I'm not like obese or anything. I'm not unhealthy. I'm just, uh, I'm insulated. That's a good way to put it. Or gastroitis, swelling of the stomach. <laughs> Made that up. That's what, they, that's what they should call it. Sir, I hate to say this, but you've got a bad case of gastroitis. What do you mean, officer? What do you mean, officer? <laughs> Shit. What do you mean, doctor? What is gastro... gastroitis? You're fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> he just pissed. No! Uh, I can't be fat. Gastro means stomach, right? Yeah, gastro means stomach. Just making sure. I didn't want to make my joke scientifically inaccurate. That's no fun. But we had, we went out to dinner with Maddie's parents. Very fun. I like them. I like Maddie, she's neat. And I got some fettuccine. Fredo. Yeah, I don't know where everyone else went. Uh, I think people are either busy playing games or playing lurking and stuff, or, you know, it's 11, 11 o'clock. People probably went to bed. They're not, they're not in it like we are. Where are you getting, where are you getting Alfredo from? Who is Alfredo? What do you mean by that? My wheels knew a person named Alfredo, which I think is hilarious. Like, why hold, would carry a baby around for nine months and say, I'm gonna name you after a fucking sauce? <laughs> I'd be pissed. Olive Garden. Yummy. Olive Garden is alright. Like, if I'm gonna go to a somewhat fancy restaurant like that, I'd pick Red Lobster and go get some fucking, some of those goddamn biscuits. And I don't know if they still have it off, but they took off fish and chips from the fucking menu the last time I went there, and I was mad. Because fish and chips is what I order for most places now. You can ask Maddie. I order it everywhere. Because I just want to know who makes the best tartar sauce. Because tartar sauce is my favorite. Okay, British man. No, I'm not British. I just like chip. I just like french fries and fish. I love fucking fried fish. My favorite fast food restaurant is Long John Silver's. And I kind of got some shit from that for that sometimes. Depends on the person that I'm talking to. You know, Long John Silver's, you know, freak. But I'm like, it's delicious. You're like that big ass piece of fucking Pollock that they give you. And then like the chicken, and then tweaking. It's so good. It makes me want some stuff right now. But we don't have a fucking Long John Silver's here in Lee Summit anymore. We haven't forever. And the closest is like Independence or Blue Springs or something. I don't remember. But I don't want to fucking drive all that. As much as I, I, I love it. As much as I love it. Don't get me wrong. Speaking of driving, I need to get my shit together on that. I need to start driving. For those uninclined, I don't drive a lot right now. I have a car, I have my license, I have everything. But I'm just, I'm, it just makes me nervous, so... Almost at 500 counters. We're making making headway. Round of grass. 
find ourselves a shayuki. No, actually. Damn it. No, I have my license. I have everything. Do you want me to go? Actually, no, I'm not going to grab it. It's identification. I don't need people to see that on the internet. I forget that I'm broadcasting this to anyone who wants to see it and not just my friends. <laughs> But no, I have my license. I've had my license for a couple, like a year or two now. It's just the whole driving part is what I don't like. So yeah, I'm a bitch, but whatever. That's number 500, by the way. Making headway into this hunt. You know, I thought about doing this one week for the stream is just like to cook dinner and just like talk to you guys while I cook. I don't I thought might be fun. I kinda of thought about it. I think it'd be a fun a fun cooking streamer. Cause I love cooking and I love baking and all that stuff. But you know, it doesn't it would give me an excuse to do it. Like, oh yeah, I'm doing it not only for myself, but to show off you know, to maybe entertain another person. Friday. Okay. What did Hayden send? Let's see. Look at this dude. Sorry, got distracted. My dad dies. When the hoes come calling, you know that we ballin'. Hard ass quote if I was up in top ten list of what I'd say if I was a Meow. Right. Just kind of slowing down a little bit. I think I think the start of the stream. You're back. You died. Rest in peace, Reagan. Fart. But yeah, I mean, as the stream goes on, I feel like I sort of, like the people start talking less, like I've kind of talked about everything. 
all the hot button issues in her life. Okay. They go away pretty quick, but, you know, I mean, as, as people show up randomly throughout the stream, or I'm playing a game that I'm pretty engaged with, like the week I played Mario Super Sluggers, Super Mario Sluggers, sorry, Mario Superstar Baseball, Super Mario Sluggers, there's, there's difference. Uh, one is better than the other. Um, but, like, when I played that, not many people showed up to the stream, but I still had a lot of fun. Because I was playing the game, and I was super engaged with the game, and I could talk about the game. Your favorite is Wii Sports. Wii Sports is fun. I actually recently played the Nintendo Switch Sports. My buddy Aaron had it. And we did, like, the bowling and the fucking golf and shit. And it was shit. We played, like, badminton badminton and it was one of the most i was sweating either because i was working hard or i'm fat or both you never know I ran out of water like 20 minutes ago, and I don't know if I'm gonna go up and grab another one, maybe, but well, I'll, I'll see if I get thirsty. I'll see if I if I run run out of moisture and move. What was your favorite sport in Wii Sports? And if you and if like you ever played Wii Sports Resort, what was your opinion on the on the, on the frisbee with the dog? <laughs> you like tennis? Were you like a strategic, but you liked tennis? Were you like a strategic player who actually swung when it came, or were you a swinging around sort of freakazoid kind of thing? We remote was my sexual awakening. Swinging around a, a tube-shaped object really made me learn a lot about myself. Yeah. That that actually fits both of your of your personalities. Like, sure, you're a bit uh, special, <laughs> not to be offensive. My mommy called me better all the time too. No offense, but. Uh, <laughs> learn a lot about myself. Yeah, the a Wii remote was my gay awakening. Sure. <laughs> I'm the funniest guy. I don't know. It doesn't even fucking make sense. Five hundred twenty-one. Smoking fucking rice, smoking fucking crack. Counting DOS money for fun. Pockets overflowing with pickles. Too early. I hadn't even started in there. So, five, Make it headway. Yeah, Maddie, how's Stardew Valley? Thank you, Reagan, for the pick me up. <laughs> it's just, I'm. 
I don't know. It's when you're looking at the same five Pokemon over and over again, you lose stuff to talk about. I mean, you know, eventually we'll get to a point where we get to play the game a little bit. Are you? Did you end up playing on the Switch for this? Coral. So for the gyms in this one, Maddie, it goes Milo, and then Nessa. Nessa is next. She's the water type, I know. Whoops. And then Milo's grass. And then it's like Kabu. I don't remember who was fourth. I think fifth was the, the old fairy lady. Sixth was like Melanie. Sixth or seventh was Melanie. And then, like, the last one's Raihan, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. There's, like, one other that I'm forgetting. Stardew Valley, Valley is farm game. Uh, it's like Farming Simulator 2006, but with pixels, and you can have you can have relations with other people. And I'm not, not like the Bill Clinton kind of relations, but, like, the normal people kind of relations. I don't know. I it's not my kind of thing. I'm not a cottage core girly. Cuz I think that's kind of kind of demographic at least to an extent, but yeah, it's a farming game. Maddie might be able to explain it better than I can as she can for most things. I see it as cut down trees and water plants, the game. <laughs> no, Bill Clinton is, uh... Something else. No, if I could shake my hand, shake hands with any president, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's like Mormons, but they don't know that they're in on it. It's like you're you're banging a chick, and then she finds you cheating. It's like, wait, you're Mormon? <laughs> they're not even mad that you're cheating. Oh, it's like real life. Yeah, I can't relate to Stardew Valley. Because they never catch me. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't need to cheat for people to hate me. Whoop. Nick it. You can fish. What's a video game without a fishing mechanic? It's not, because fishing's awesome. I love fishing. In high school, they used to call me the Fisherman. That lasted like a week, and it was only me who called myself that, but someone was calling me it. Yeah, Reagan, I figured you would be a... I figured you would have... You're the kind of girl, you're the kind of girly who would play Stardew Valley. And that's not an offensive thing. Stardew Valley is a, a cute game. Just not my style. Like, maybe if the girls got naked, it'd be my kind of game, but... They don't.
I think it's several dollar bag. It's not. It's not. If I were blind, I don't know, I'd still probably be a little gay. Hose be hose. I did do that, and I was very good at cutting down those trees. Thank you. And I accidentally cut some of the blue grass that I don't think I was supposed to cut. I didn't know. Any better. <sighs> I've let's go lumberjack Stellan yeah um, the only thing I got qualifications for a lumberjack is knowing how to use knives I'm not ginger I can't grow a beard and I'm not very burly But I could swing an axe around to some effect. As much as I can swing a hammer around, I guess. Like, like it takes me a couple shots to get it, but then I'm fucking dialed in, swinging, swinging like a. Like a maniac. Hammer in that nail. Bam, 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 bam. I don't think I'd be a good I don't think I'd be a good lumberjack though. Like how would I I would ruin the media's perception of lumberjacks? Oh, look at him. He totally doesn't fit the mold. He's an outlier. Exile him. I'd be ousted by the lumberjack community and burned on burned burned at the stump. Lumberjack appropriation. Gentrifying the lumberjack community since about 10 minutes ago. Not even five minutes ago. What do I want to do with my chemistry major? Um, toxicology or forensic chemist. I think those both would be cool. But if all else goes wrong, I'll be an FBI agent and be a total sleuth. Spy. And all, if all, all else fails, I'll become like a stripper. If that doesn't work, I'll just kill myself. I don't know. That's not true. I'd never be a stripper. But I, those two careers in chemistry are kind of the... involve a lot of the stuff that I haven't learned to love about chemistry. Which is organic chemistry, which, you know, wasn't the fun the first time around with Mr. Lane. But, you know, I'll, I'll get it one day. No, Maddie, we will not take pole, cl pole classes together. That's a you thing. If I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to run. And maybe eat better. I'd rather run. He'd rather be a prostitute. I look damn good standing around on a corner. All the fellas and ladies drive past like, wow, is that a prostitute? He made some long life. He made, he made a good choice with that body and they drive off. They don't they never get booked. But I'll become an OnlyFans star. I'll show my feet. Will be a foot only fans. People gotta like the callus that's on like the pinky side of the foot, right? You're the you're the you're the best friend ever, Reagan. 
I will take stripper classes with you. Stripper 101. This is how you be a hoe, girl. It's, it's cool that I'm glad that Maddie's got someone that she knows that's going to be at KU. Because, you know, I thought about going, but I'm like, it's that's a big tuition fee for us. And I don't want to, like, freak the shit out of my mom too much. But, you know, as long as someone keeps my, my, my girl safe. And it'll be herself. I'm, we're we're going to teach her how to shoot a gun. Teach her how to, like, do the, well, load the gun. She knows how to shoot, but it's not very hard. She's, a, she's an intuitive, intuitive lady. You can figure it out. I mean, you could probably figure out how to load a gun on your own, too. But not all guns are the same. Depends. As long as you don't become an actual stripper, Maddie, I'm okay with that. If it makes you feel positively about yourself, go for it. But if you become a hoe, me and you are no mo. <sighs> yeah. Do you know how to clean a gun? You don't really need to clean this just yet. What is the SSRI pounds? What does that mean? Super sussy Roblox Army. That's what that stands for. Army spelled with an I. The super sussy Roblox Army. I knew you'd understand that, Jasmine. Hoot hoot. What is what is it? What do you mean by that, Maddie? I don't know if because I know sometimes comments, chat don't don't pop up for me, so I don't know if that's related to something that I missed. Selective serotonin. Repute something. I can't read it that far. I'm hipper. S S R. I like Super Sussy Roblox Army more, personally. But, I guess Super, I mean, it could be the Super Skibbity Roblox Army. Like that one guy on Instagram. What's up, Skibbity Roblox Army? Today, I've got some Bloxy Cola. He says shit like that. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Bro, Army does not start with an eye. Uh, the eye's silent. That's how they spelled in France. That's encounter 555. Making some headway. It's <laughs> super sussy Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. I do not. I'm walking a box full of dough. Don't talk to me like that. You hurt my feelings. I have a balloon. It's like my little antenna. 
There was a guy floating down a box, in a box floating down the river, like the scene in SpongeBob. Someone should put you in a mental hospital. Someone should put you in a box floating down the river, Grandma. That's like abridged. It's not exact. SpongeBob abridged. Stay in the box. No. What is that? It's a freaky little emoticon, Jasmine. You're you <laughs> you a freak for that. You a freak for that. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. When skies are red, you'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take us house, house away. Thank you. That one goes out to Laban Bon James. I don't know why. I think I think you are my sunshine is a cute song. But I don't know why it's so funny with a with a picture of LeBron James in the background. I don't I don't know what that why that's so funny. My my Instagram reels is like that and girls. And the girls scare me cuz they're like half naked. I'm like I don't know what I did to deserve this. I don't want to see that, especially when I'm scrolling through Instagram in public and it's just, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's no good. You are my sauce, sauce, sauce. Shush. Figured out why city boys don't drive lifted trucks so much. Swouse. <laughs> Very cool. Five sixty-five. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get this shiny eventually. Going crazy. Trousers. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Who said your ass could get out of the basement? What the hell? What is up, gang? We're playing pocket monsters. Tearing my hair out. But we're comfortably tearing my hair out. Drake it out. So hello everybody. My name is LeBron James. LeBron James Hellline. LeBron James Stephen A. Smith Hellline. LeBron James Hellline. You always miss them. Yeah, I am. I, it's awesome that you were able to show up, man. I never get to talk. I never talk to you anymore. And here you are talking to me in the YouBoob chat. What the internet does is it connects folks. Man. And that's the beauty of it because sometimes you never talk to people. But like. When you're looking at me through a screen and I'm looking at, at letters on the screen, man, it's different. Sorry, let me hit my, my card real quick. Whew. That was me blowing my, my cards. Because I hit that Fenty card. 
the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> the hell? What the hell? You are my son. Sha sha. Five hundred and seventy. We've almost done the same amount of encounters that we did last time. We've almost doubled our encounter count. Count. Another blip bug. Those little glossy eyes will haunt me till the end of time. You. My only hamburger. You make me hamburger when the sky is red. <laughs> Oops. Oh, what ran into me? A little doodle. He returns. Little, little yamaka turtle. See what the next encounter is. It's a, it's a bird. Cockadoodle do. I am returned. He's here, Mutt. He's here. The turtle is true airhead. Um, what the sigma? <laughs> Five seventy-five. Hayden, we've made a lot of progress since you have still with your father. still with pops. Tell Papa I say hello, or don't. He probably doesn't know why. Tell pops. Flipbug got me geeking. Told bro we geek hard. Gave Ro a sweet tart. Told him it was the perk three. Five seventy eight. We're making we're making leaps. We're making jumps. We're making we're close to doubling our count today. We might make it to 600. I don't know. I could catch a second wind and get this shit to 750. Because that's a nice round. And then, for the next stream, we'll have our little layout. Hopefully, and it'll look pretty. And... Yeah! Tactical nuke! Incoming! I'm on a whole other level. I've been up for a long time today. I woke up at like 6. I mean, I wake up at 6 pretty much every day. 6.30. But... Oh. You going to Snooze Town? Hey, Regent. Thank you, gang. For, for showing up. I think it's awesome. I never get to talk to you. and It's cool. See you later, Reagan. Have a good evening. Sleep well. I guess it's not evening anymore. Have a good night. Sleep well. And stay strong, girly pop. Tactical nuke incoming. That's a pretty tough alarm sound. <laughs> It'd wake you the fuck up instantly. It's like having, a, having an emergency service alarm like this is not a drill yo bitch ass about to die 
some shit like that. Get your big fat ass out of bed. Or you finna die in your jit. Dude, these fuck it. You would not think that this is a 40% encounter with how many goddamn blip bug we've been seeing. Like I did. Well, I mean, uh, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> shut up, Emily. I don't care. Gosh. No, I, I guess, I guess that sounded more like a fire alarm. I mean, you know, some countries have a different emergency, emergency service sound. And some of them sound like that, probably. What's what's ours? It's like the. Yeah, I mean, it rocks totally, but my oven sounds like a fire alarm. That's concerning. Like you turn the oven on, like oh shit, the oven's on fire again. <laughs> that's unforged get a new oven that's a good call get a new oven <laughs> spend a thousand dollars on a new oven oh my god <laughs> i'd be tweaking like oh shit there's another fire I'd be I'd be I'd be brandishing a fire extinguisher the whole time. Like it's the Wild West and you know you've got like the suspenseful I don't know, fucking recorder music. Do -do 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 -do. I don't remember. I don't even know what instrument that's from. It's probably like piccolo or something. It's like like a tumbleweed crosses through the kitchen. And then, like, you hear the beep of the, the oven, you BAM! <sighs> uh... Sorry, that wasn't super funny. In what circumstances... Does a Gatorade cap get into the oven? <laughs> How does that happen? Like, was it set on there and someone bumped it while the lid was open and when you closed it, it went in there? Or, or you just, like, couldn't find the trash can? Shit, I don't think anyone will notice you flicked it in there. Um, am I going to hatch eggs for shiny starters? Probably not for this run. Because the last time I tried to fucking do something with eggs in this game, I went like three times over odds and still never got it, and it made me mad. <laughs> uh, story of my life, I guess, but... Giving up. That's, that's the story. But, you know, I got all three of the Scarlet Violet starters pretty well. Pretty quickly, all under odds for that. And I like them all. Their names are Miguel, Maria, and... Jeez, what's the last one? Miguel, Maria... It's like Marco or something. Like that. <laughs> Shinies are fun in Scarlet and Violet. I mean, I think... I'm glad I got lucky with those eggs. Because I would not have wanted to be doing that for a while. But I can't believe your work was legally, legally poisoning you, and you and no one believed you. You could probably go to like Mike De Pasquale and get a case with that. Injured at work? We've got your back. Dial one eight hundred mix a lot. I, it's it's definitely like you either get a real short hunt or you get a real real long one and there's no in between sometimes there's no moderacy moderacy is that a word there's no there's no mo there's no in between there's no moderate i guess moderacy i might have just made that up 
Write that one down, Webster. Marrying Webster. Get that some bitch in the dictionary. Moderation. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that one just that that word just didn't come to mind the first time. Mars. Another pearl. Line. At least I'm seeing stuff other than blip, blip bug now. For a little bit, I was only seeing blip bug, and you know those glossy little eyes make you go crazy eventually. Little bastard. Not you guys, the bug. Two gangster for real words. That's what my gangster teacher told. There's the fucking blip bug again, first of all. But that's what my gangster teacher told me. Hey, fool. You two gangster for real words. Shiny Ore Beetle is very good, and I would not be opposed to using it in this playthrough. Like, I don't think it'd be one that I kick off the team eventually. But, you know, I'm totally fine with anything on this route. Rookity is kind of the goal. But, you know, I wouldn't mind Orbeetle. I wouldn't mind Lotad. I wouldn't mind Hoot Hoot, just because I think Hoot Hoot's cool. It wouldn't be, like, a staple for the team. I don't think. It, it, I mean, it could be. And, you know, and, you know I'd be fine with the Purloin. I think, in order of how much I want them, it'd probably go... Uh, Rookity. And then Lotad. And then Hoot Hoot, and then Ore Beetle, or not Ore Beetle, Blip Bug, and then Perloin. Not even. It kind of, it kind of, it kind of does look like a bit rock typey. It it maintains like the jagged color, cut not colors, like sort of structure, but then it gets that rocky, earthy color. I think I think a Ludicolo would be super fun to use because he's just a funny little guy doing his funny little dance. If I felt like it, I would stand up and do the funny little dance for you guys, but I don't feel like it right now. Sorry, I'm reclining a lot. Like I've noticed that whenever I stream, I slowly and slowly move farther away from the camera. You know, I'm kind of just playing it by ear with the team, honestly. So I, I don't really know. It's kind of, I mean, obviously there's going to be some randomness to it. Like I might just not get any of the things that I look for in a route, but you know, I'll get, I'll get some unique stuff. I think I'll make sure I, I play in places that sort of give me a variety. And, you know, if I fuck up on one of the badges, sure. I'll just I'll just make it up in the next batch the next time. So we're we're just kind of seeing where the wind takes us with this. Uh, you know, I thought of it. I'm like, yeah, I think it'd be fun. I mean, I need to replay the game. Who? One percent Santa Scorch? No, <laughs> sorry, it's not cool enough for that. Not fighting for my life over a little centipede. Oops. I wish this game showed Chinese in the real world. We talk, I was talking about it last stream, but it sort of starts like when you run into one and the next one spawns. Oh, yeah. Ludico is a weird one. You wouldn't think that's a that's a stone evolution. I think it's I think it's odd that it's a stone evolution, but I mean it's fine. It doesn't bother me. But I think mean, I think it's a weird one. Um Yeah, be uh, with the overworld shiny thing, like you never know if that next one that spawns is a shiny. So you just keep checking them over and over and over again and over and over and over again. And it never stops because you never know if it's gonna be it. That's encounter six hundred by the way. We made we've made good progress. I think double is a bit of a grant downgrade. I kind of agree. I mean, I think double is awesome. Don't get me wrong, but Ruli's just so stinking cute. 
a little little sheepy boo. Sheep are also my favorite animal, so I guess there's bias there. Sheep are one of my favorite. Probably probably up there with my favorite. It's that or the red panda. Name the hot chocolate. That's a, that's a cute name. Oh, that's cute. Oh no, I totally I totally remember that lombre, Maddie. You told me about her. And I do not agree with it looks better than little old Ludicolo. I think they're both adorable. I just think they're fun. I named mine Sombrero. Because I think it's funny. Sombrero is a good name for it. Next I should do a tier list. Um, S tier. I'll just I'll just rattle some off right now. S tier Anorith, the cutest boy. Um, F tier. What's an F tier Pokemon? <laughs> Maddie was terrified of Lily Colo because she'd never seen a Mexican before in her life. <laughs> Sock? What is Sock? Who is Sock? Sock is an S-A-W-K Sock? Because he's alright. I think he's a a solid C tier. He's kind of boring. But also Sock could mean like Furret, because Furret kind of looks like a Sock. Because if it's Furret, I think Furret's a solid B+. Plus. What's um, what's a, what's a Pokemon I I hate? I don't know if there there's not a lot of Pokemon that I hate, honestly. I'm not a big Pig Knight fan, but I don't think Pig Knight would be F tier. I think Pig Knight would go probably D tier, and I'll do all the ones on this route. So Rookity is probably a good. C tier, I think he's a basic bird, you know, whatever. Him, look at he. Blip bug, C, maybe C minus. It's also just kind of a bug. It doesn't really stand out. When it gets to when it gets to its later evolution, it's cool. Paris. Paris is a B plus, I think. Paris is a very good good Pokemon. But when it evolves into Parasect, I think that knocks it down to just flat B sort of thing. Because I definitely like Paris more than I like Parasect. Because I think Paris is just so cute. It's just a little goober. Maddie, you're not... It's not big Pokemon that's here to you. It's fat Pokemon. Don't lie to me. I know you hate fat people. You're f afraid of fat people. Don't lie to me. Carnivine. A tier, dude. I love Carnivine. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. When I first saw it when I was playing X and Y, because I, you know, I'm I'm young, so I was a kid when X and Y came out. It was on that one swampy route before the. It's in the one like swampy route before the Pokemon Factory, Pokemon Ball Factory, Pokeball Factory. Jesus, what the fuck am I talking about? And before that city. Is that where Valerie is? I think that's the city Valerie's in. With the little mushroom houses. I haven't played X and Y in a while, so. Excuse me. The truth finally comes out. I feel like Electrify. I mean, they're the exception of the rule. Yeah. It's it's one of those. Cuz there's sort of like two swampy routes in that game cuz there's the one after like right before this town where you fight Wolfric. Like where that bridge is and you fight Tierno on the bridge, I think. There's one right before that. That's sort of swampy. 
There might be a couple. I Mudkip is a good ass pick. I f I love Mudkip. Mudkip is my boo. Tangerth kind of weird guy. Tangerth is falls in the fat Pokemon category. He's massive. He's kind of weird. I do agree. He does look like some moldy spaghetti. But I, I think he's funny and unique for that. I like Machamp. Machamp's up there. Machamp probably is S tier, honestly. It's a it's one of my faves. What's my favorite starter? Probably Mudkip. <laughs> Mudkip. Um, my least favorite starter. I'll, I know you didn't ask me, but I'll answer it anyways. Um, my least favorite starter. Probably something like uh, like Embor. That line, Tepig, I guess I should say. And I'm not. I'm not huge on Grookey. I'm the Grookey guy. It's another stinker. I don't know. I like Hoot Hoot. I think Hoot Hoot's cute. Love me some Hooters. Blizz Nation. Yeah. Torchic and Fennec and Lou babies. I know. I like Wingle. Wingle's probably S tier for me, too. But not Pelipper. I don't like Pelipper as much. Yeah, Embor does look weird. Like his his we it... like it's it's like he's got a neck, but he doesn't have a neck, sort of thing. Because like he doesn't have a neck, but it's sort of being defined being defined by that collar thing. I don't think Pelipper's creepy. I think Pelipper's just not as cute as Wingle is. Oh, okay. Well, good night, Maddie. Sleep well. I know you won't. And I'm probably wrapping up here soon anyway, so you shouldn't miss much. Unless I get the shiny this next encounter. Stay for that, if you can hear me. Whoops. I didn't mean to run into Choodle. Into the Choodle. The Choodler. You're gonna sleep well just to spite me? Good! Do that every night. <laughs> Rookity. 616. Good night. Good night, night. You know, realizing have my hair put up in these pigtails it means that I'm gonna have to take them out and I don't know if it's gonna hurt because they hurt they they hurt putting them up a little bit because of the hairbrush it's not the best hairbrush ever but um, I don't know how much pull it's gonna have on me because I usually keep a low loose ponytail so I look like a founding father actually I don't think I have that problem as much as some people do the, the founding father look with the with the low ponytail. It might be a chick problem. Chicks look very um, old, tiny with a low ponytail. I think it's more common for a guy to have one. That's a bro. You should take donations. No, I do, I just don't have a good hairbrush at this at my dad's house. I need to get one. And I'll get one eventually. You have to put your hair up wet for work. I hate having wet hair. Wet hair is my... The least favorite fucking part of having long hair. Like, I can get over knots. I can get over having to brush it. After not brushing it for a day or two. But, like, when it's fucking... It, when it's wet, I want to kill myself. Because, <laughs> like, whenever I, whenever I get out of the shower, I put my hair in a ponytail. And then... <laughs> you look like a wet dog. <laughs> but like, but like, I put a towel on my shoulders and put my hair back and a ponytail. Or I do like one of the little towel twist things where you like twist your hair up in it. It stays off your shoulder, but it, it hurts the top of my head. 
because it's because it's, it's we got heavy ass towels, so it's hard to do it. So usually I just do a towel over the shoulders and then like a slightly smaller, like almost a hand towel, over top of it, so I don't get any pillows or anything like that. But low battery, okay. <laughs> It scares the shit out of me every time when my when my headphones say low battery. Okay, got it. Low battery, man. You don't need to seductively whisper in my ear. That's not your job. <laughs> That's no one's job. Yeah, sometimes it just sometimes it's quiet. So I barely heard it that time. But then sometimes like you're dialed into the game, it's like <laughs> like whoa okay. I bad. It's not that urgent. Two, whoa, not two, 624, is how many encounters we're at? I don't know if I'll stop at 650 or go to one of, uh, five, six, six, 700, that's the number that comes after 600. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling, it might just be 650. I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. I was uh, totally wasn't planning on this, but you know, I sort of felt like, oh, I kind of want to play the game and get some more progress done on this hunt. And, well, I'm only going to do that on stream, so throw the stream up, get some folks in here, start talking, have some fun, and find that shiny, shiny Pokemon. So that's sort of what I've been, kind of what the plan was. Yeah, it's always on Snap. Uh, usually my time is Wednesday at 5.30. That's usually what I do, but sometimes I'm not feeling it on a Wednesday, so I just like won't stream some Wednesdays. But... Now you know I stream. Here I am, having some fun, and here you are having some fun with us. And I make videos too. Don't forget about those. Every every Thursday morning at eight a.m. I post something. And then I'm not great with time, but Sundays I usually get something out too. Because me and Maddie have been playing Skylanders. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Now we are besties. We are besties now. It's a legally binding contract. You hitting that button means that you are. I am in your will now. I get. 50% of everything that you own when you die. Breaking news. The dude from YouTube has been found dead in their home with three, <laughs> three gunshots to the head labeled a suicide. 50% of zero is to zero. Well, now, now you're bumming me out with your, with your broke mentality. <laughs> Get your money up. Not so funny up. I say with maybe forty dollars to my name. In actual money. My 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 net worth and value. <laughs> you legally have to fight for me in any wars that I enter. Yes! You are drafted. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, a they them, a seizure a seizure. Or a, <laughs> a Michigan or Michigan self. It's a callback to early in the stream. <laughs> You're fighting for me. We do not discriminate. Equal rights, equal fights. Fat lives matter. Sorry. Not cool to make fun of that. What the hell am I thinking? Black lives matter. You can tell I'm getting tired. Just spouting stuff out. Some fellas got like the sexy tired voice. 
I just sound like grovelly when I wake up. <laughs> it's like that like, dude. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Fat blood hypes matter. That is funny. That's good. <laughs> but. Yeah. Like, there's a, there's a point where I, I get less bubbly in the night, so. I think I've hit that point. Meow. I will seizure the enemy. Enemy. Enemy! Come on, Stellan, get your fucking words right. You're not that tired. You're just being lazy with your with your talking. You little freak. Not the best way. Just making sure I remember. You know, I just said that I was gonna sit up and like be closer to the like the screen and stuff. But I have found my comfort again back here in the pillow pile. English hard. Okay, man, no need English. Hoo -hoo Jeez, if I was a caveman, I'd be a good caveman. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think I could survive. But, like, oh, God, I just thought of, like, this tweet I saw. Caveman pussy go crazy. The, the, the pheromones are caked in or some fucking nasty shit like that. I unga, therefore I bunga. That's kind of a banger quote. Who said that? Socrates? That is not fire. If you're talking about the fucking caked on pheromones. If you're talking about the unga, therefore I bunga, that's fire. But that other shit that I was talking about, forget that. I didn't, I never said that. Both. Ugh. Ugh. You're 50% right. 50% liable for your actions. Fifty percent ants under your skin. Fifty percent peel your skin off. Subliminal messages I'm sending. <laughs> Strike that from the record. They don't need to know that I said that. We're gonna cut that part of the stream and no one's gonna know. It's gonna be seamless. Oh jeez. It is sort of cut and oh my gosh, the stream just went out. But I think I think we're back. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. Don't know what that was about. I cut the internet cord. Six hundred forty-one. That's a rickadoodle-doo. Hit him with the nano nano move. Intimidating move. Intimidating the phone. Nino nino nino. <laughs> Jeez. It was like, I don't know if it was like a meme or something. I think it was. It was like staged. But it was like two people in like an investigation room or whatever. You know, like when, when you get fucking detained, they're like talking to you like, what, what were you doing? <laughs> it's like the detective is like doing fucking shit like this at the, at the person. And like there's a voiceover is like, Oh no, that's just disrespectful. He hit him with the neener neener or something like that. It was silly. It was silly goofy. Put a smile on my face. <laughs> He's really playing mind games with the with the inmate. He hit him with the nana nana boo boo. Right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Not the neener neener. I'd be mad if, like, someone, some official of power did that to me. Like, I, I come to, I come to the school board with a complaint, like, yeah, the drinking water is gross, you guys need to fix that. And the superintendent looks at me and says, 
wham wham and then he's just like nana nana boo boo you're gonna get fucking cholera rate my hair bounce people need to start doing shit like that just treating grown people like children and the like the worst way is possible like <laughs> this is the meeting I'd be a great school I'd be a great teacher because I'd be a shithead I rated for <laughs> I rated S for sexy and stellar. Thank you. What do you mean? That's the same word. You just said it twice. <laughs> Blazer Nation. I'm flattered. Thank you. It's always funny because like the straightest of men come into these comments, come into the chat. It's like, look at this handsome boy who's streaming. And, okay, thanks guys. I appreciate the compliments. Let's say it's my face. I'm sorry. I'm gonna catch a case. <laughs> Whoopsies. We're approaching the 650 mark and I believe the end of the stream. I'm getting groggy getting tired of swinging my stick around definitely don't know you <laughs> that don't matter I don't need to know anyone I'll, f I'll, f I'll find you <laughs> I have my ways don't worry but if there's a knocking on your door tonight at around 2.43 a.m., it's me. Just leave the door unlocked. Get a cat called on stream. Yeah, it happens. I think I think it's a very respectful cat calling. It's not like a it's not like a disrespectful like, oh come here, slut. Come get me some. Hells yeah. That's 6.50 for the night. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate your uh, support today. This evening, this, this tonight, I guess, it's, has been evening for three hours. Four hours. Thank you all for joining me. And I think that'll do it for the stream. Check me out more than you usually do. Uh, <laughs> check out the uploads Sunday at eventually and Thursday at 8 a.m. I'll see you guys later. Laser Nation. Have a good one.